So I should point out that I love this show. Uh, I directed the show back in 2017 at my previous school, and it was my absolute favorite directing experience to date. Um, but I wouldn't have necessarily picked this show for this year, but there's a lot of reasons why it was the right one. From a logistical standpoint, you know, doing a show where we knew that we'd have all these restrictions and all these things that would kind of be hurdles and roadblocks for us, um, The Drowsy Chaperone is a fast-paced short show. It's a 90-minute jam-packed production and I thought with everything going on let's do 90 minutes incredibly well. I think that we needed to do things like for example we don't have an auditorium this year so we had to move our whole production over to merry-go-round which means that we should have a simple unit set and that's another big reason that we picked this. And then from a storytelling standpoint I thought what a poignant show to be picking for this year. You know the show centers around this man who's in isolation who clings on to these relics of the past for comfort. And I feel like that's something that's very relatable in this era. And so it just felt like, you know, from both a logistical and emotional standpoint, this was the right choice for this year. So I am very thrilled that I was able to have the opportunity to work on this show again with the cast that I had, who is absolutely wonderful. Uh, what was it like to be back in the theater? To be back in a the theater was really awesome because I've done shows this summer already but none of them have actually been in a theater so being able just to look up at the stage lights and almost go blind basically was just really f exciting and fun and being able to have your backstage finally was great. What are you most excited for people to see when the show comes out? I'm most excited for the reactions. I just want them to do, enjoy this. I want them to feel happy about it, sad about it, whatever they may feel. I want them to feel some kind of emotion towards this because I feel like this will bring an uplifting spirit to everyone in this stupid pandemic. See, the thing about The Drowsy Chaperone is that it's really a show about escapism. It's about a man listening to his records to escape from, in his words, the dreary horrors of the everyday world. And what's interesting is that every single person who comes to see our show is trying to do the exact same thing, to escape from this whole situation we all just call now. So hopefully by the end of the show, you'll, you'll sympathize with Man in Chair and you'll understand where he's coming from. I think what makes this show exciting to me is that uh, something I said, and I don't remember if I said this to the whole class or just to my production, or the whole cast or just my production tech class, but I said, you know, let's not make compromises this year. Let's do something as good, and if so, in some ways even better than what we would have done in a normal year. Let's learn some new things, let's do some new things, let's make this a, an elevated experience as opposed to a compromise. And so I think that by you know recruiting 9WSYR to shoot our production and for my production tech class to learn how to edit that together, for us to prepare this performance in a way that is different, but in the same way, incredibly powerful and incredibly captivating, um, I'm really excited for us to have had the opportunity to do this and for others to then see what we have done for the past three months.